create a room around your favorite outfit? That's the big question of the day. I saw myself wearing one of my favorite outfits, this little blushy top and my little pleather jeans, and I thought, oh my gosh, this would make such a great room. So I have rearranged, there's no more winter, this room is completely new now, and it's based on my favorite outfit. And the best part is, is that I hardly spent even a cent doing this. So let me give you a tour and I'll show you how I did it. I first started with a touch of femininity. This was a big part of my outfit and definitely something I wanted to add into the room. And luckily I have a husband who does not mind a little bit of pink in the room. So I added a gorgeous blush colored blanket to the end of the bed. Then I also put pillows on the bed that just add a little bit of femininity through the color and also adding a floral, which is actually my own design. So it's really personal and it's something that I really love. Then I added a bit of an architectural feel. That was something that was really important to me and it helps balance out the femininity, especially since I'm sharing this room with my husband. So one of my favorite elements is this amazing Guide to Manhattan poster. I love it and so does my husband. This was actually one of the only things we actually paid for in the room because this was our Christmas gift to each other. We also brought in the lamps. These were actually here before but they were sitting on side tables. By putting them behind the bed like this we're keeping it very modern and it adds again that little bit of architectural feel to the space. Then I balanced all of that out with just a bit of black. It's in the bed, it's in my blouse, it's still feminine, but all of these elements are kind of playing off of each other to make a space that overall has a bit of femininity, femininity <laughs> modernness, and a little bit of edginess. Your clothes say something about your mood. That's what makes it such a fun thing to use as an inspiration board. The important thing though is that you don't let it keep you tied down either. This week I'm into blush and black. Next week I'm going to probably have some of these same elements, but I'm also going to be changing things up because that's life. We're not tied down into one thing. And that's one of the biggest differences between interior design, as in it's been put in, it's been installed, and it doesn't move for the next 20 years, and spaces that really live and breathe. Your spaces should move and live with your life. That's what makes them so cool. Think about it. This week, I've got a lipstick that I'm really into. It's on my table. But next week, I'm probably gonna be into a different shade and that one will be on my table next. Books that are here, I'll finish them and they'll go to a different shelf and something else will be there. So don't be tied down into thinking that I have to design a space that's always gonna be the same. Sure, the structural things will always be the same unless you're ready to really do a big redo. But when you're just simply reimagining your space, don't worry about it. Maybe one blouse is up on the wall this week. Maybe it'll be something completely different hanging there next week. That's what's really fun about having a space that just kind of moves with the rhythm of your life. Same thing for florals. Last week I had eucalyptus here and roses in the window, and this week it's tulips and this really cute plant. It's just kind of going with my life, and I think that's so much more exciting for space than something that's designed, installed, and isn't going anywhere. You should live in your space, enjoy it. It's what makes it fun. Reimagine it tomorrow, think about it in a month or two, and just let it move with your life. Thank you so much for joining us in our home today. I hope I've inspired you to run directly to your closet, grab one of your favorite pieces, and start reimagining your spaces. Whether you take your favorite blouse or a dress, hang it over the back of your door, put it up on a hook, whatever it is, I hope that you will have fun and create a space that is absolutely you. Remember, if you need a little bit of extra inspiration, we have the House of Valentina blog. And of course, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel where we're always uploading more videos and hopefully inspiring you to create a space that is truly representative of you. So we'll see you soon. Bye.